Hey there, Sharon Hornelson here with one of my daughter's dolls from when she was a little girl. It's a little doll I brought her back from Mexico. It was made in Mexico City or in one of the um, places in Mexico City. And we just, I fell in love with her and I wanted to get her one. And she never played with it. She, she never played with most of her dolls. It's really interesting. She saved most of them uh, till now. I mean, she's got a lot of them still in the boxes. And now that she's had a daughter, I suppose her daughter will end up with them and maybe playing with them more than she ever did. So what are we doing? What am I talking about today? I'm thinking about being late because I am doing my videos today very, very late. I think it's 9. I should probably, I took my uh, Fitbit off, so I don't even know what time it is. But I know it's well after 9 o'clock in the evening, which is super unusual for me to be live then. I'm usually up early in the morning doing my videos. Why? Because then I make sure I get them done. I made a commitment to myself that I would document my journey every day and I would keep track of it. And so even though it's, you know, almost the day is almost over in most people's standards, I'm still doing my videos. Why? Because it's important to me. It's important to me to be consistent, to show up and to keep everybody up to speed in terms of what I am doing, what's working, what's not working as I transition from the offline brick and mortar real world of business to the online world of business. And yesterday was my birthday. It was my birthday. And so I had a sleepover at my sister's house, one of my sisters with my granddaughter, my older granddaughter. And we had a birthday party and everything over there and a birthday dinner, which was awesome. And so we had a sleepover. So I knew I wasn't going to do my videos this morning. And then I thought I would come home and I would do them. And lo and behold, my daughter and her husband wanted to go snowboarding for Jake board with Jake Day or something for Jake Burton when he passed away. They started an annual thing where everybody goes snowboarding that are snowboarders to um, celebrate Jake Burton. Because kind of without Jake Burton, there probably wouldn't be snowboarding as we know it today. And my daughter and my son and my son-in-law are all snowboarders. So, of course, that's something that they do. So I got to hang out with my brand new granddaughter, who's just a little over a month old now. And that meant it took all day. So now I'm doing my videos late at night instead of early in the morning, which is interesting because I have a lot less energy at 9 o'clock at night than I do at five o'clock in the morning, which for most people is just reverse. So what do we do today? Today, our Supersize Your Business challenge or daily idiom. I guess it's not a challenge. I just do a, a daily idiom. And for the beginning of this year, the beginning of 2021, we're doing about a hundred days of Proverbs, really popular, famous Proverbs. And today was, it's not over until the fat lady sings. And I didn't realize what a new idiom this is. This is actually from mostly the 1970s uh, in sporting events. Uh, and I didn't, I guess I, I always remember it because, and I thought it was around a lot longer, because it was really, really popular when I was a teenager, right? When I was in, you know, the 70s, I was 10 to, to 20 in the 70s, so it was just a part of my, you know, frame of reference all the time, so I've always known it and thought it was around longer, but that's relatively new when it comes to idioms and proverbs and, and sayings that we use, although with the internet and everything, a lot of things become popular a lot faster than they did, you know, in, in the olden days. Things would be around for a long, long time, but they weren't necessarily written down and shared like they are now. Now, you know, you can make something up and it goes around the world in a day because we have the internet. Uh, so that was interesting. And it just reminds us to keep going and that we don't have to quit or throw in the towel. Even if it looks bleak, we can still win. We can still create the life we want. We can still win the sporting event, even if we're, you know, until that final bell sounds, it, we're still in the game because you never know what's going to happen. Look at all the last second wins that, that sport teams have had in, in all different types of sports. I remember sitting at, you know, some of my kids' sporting events and thinking, oh my God, they don't have a shot. And then wham, they would end up winning the game. So that was our proverb for today. It's not over to the fat lady sings. Thus, the doll of my daughters. It's the closest thing I could get to fat ladies, I guess, around the house today, except for moi. So today we're also doing the 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that centers you. And today was the second part of a two part sayings day about, well, we have two hands for a reason, one to help ourselves and one to help other people or both to help other people. And so we were just going to share how we helped other people today uh, using our own two hands and how that makes us feel because the whole point of uh, doing one thing every day that centers us is to figure out and get to know ourselves better and figure out what works for us and what doesn't, what makes us tick, what makes us 
you know, what makes us who we are. So I'm doing a bunch of different things around that this year. In addition to the daily challenge, I actually just signed up for a, an annual or a 12 month uh, deeper dive coaching program on uh, language and personal uh, communication and how we talk to ourselves and how we use our language and NLP and, and things like that, because that will help me understand myself better. And if I understand myself better, then I can serve others better as well. The people that I interact with, not only in the business world and in my life, which is a lot of my life, work's been my life for a long, long time, but in my family as well, because the best thing we can do to help other people is to be the example of what we want to see in the world. And that's in all areas and aspects of our life, not just in our businesses. So that's what I'm working on late for me today. So I'm going to process these videos quickly and then I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to get up at four and I'm going to do them again. Or I'll do not them again, but I'll do tomorrow's version again. That's it. If I can help you in any way, hit me up, maybe hit me up tomorrow. Otherwise I will be talking to you tomorrow. Have an awesome night.